Hello, my beautiful people. It's happening again. Happy C. Now, telling Nigerians, if we cannot win, that means nobody can can get it. Nobody will get this seat if we cannot get it. I'm beginning to wonder, is that hard to play politics? If people don't want to vote for you, you don't have to, you know, force people to vote for you. You don't force people to, to rule them. It's, it's, it's out of place. APC should get this correctly, that Nigerians have rejected them. I'm not here to, you know, to campaign for any aspirant, but I am just speaking the truth with what we are facing today as, you know, in Nigeria. You, you, will, you will understand that APC, they, they don't even have that... I don't know what is even giving them that, that power, that strength that they are going to win the next uh, year, 2023 election. You want to win election by fire, by thunder. But now we are day on ground right now. Nigeria is nothing to tell home about. A war wants um, the giant of Africa. Today, every other country, every other African country, just they use Nigeria, they play ball because of where these people have kept us. Well, what happened today in the Boeing state is really very shocking. Uh, and for the fact that this is coming from a, some, someone, you know, who is a Southeasterner, if this thing that happened to obedience, obedience today happened in somewhere like in southwest or in the north, people will now start saying this is hatred, this is this, this is that. So what's happened in the Boni state today? I don't know what people will refer this to because it's really very shocking. Well, uh, before I get, uh, get straight to the news, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. May God bless you. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. Operatives of the Nigerian Police Force, a Boeing State Command, have dispersed supporters of the obedience movement gathered at the Pastoral Center, Habakeleke, for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. According to Punch, the Nigerian police force the gassed Obi supporters, who numbered over 1,000 persons. The incident caused both human and vehicular traffic on the popular old Enugu Road in the state capital, Habakeleke, on Saturday morning. One of the supporters, Stephen Ugama said, aside despairing and tear gassing the supporters, about five of his colleagues have been arrested by the police. He said, this is inhuman and undemocratic. We have gathered here this morning for our peaceful march. All of a sudden, the police came and started tear gassing us and arresting our people. They said we can't hold the match because Governor Dave Omai asked them to stop us, that we cannot hold it. About four of our colleagues have been arrested. We need help here, he said. You know, there was um, a report yesterday that the Eboin State Governor Dave Omai said that the obedience, obedience movement will pay four million naira if at all they will you know, conduct any rally in a, a Boeing state and all that, that they have to pay four million for that. And, you know, Nigerians are like, what exactly is going on here? This is one million march. Every other state, you know, had been doing it. I, I, I beg your pardon. Every other parties have been doing it. Even this very one, they've done it in Anambra state for free. They've done it in Calabar. They do, they've done it in uh, Port Harcourt. So why is, even in most state, they did it too. So why 
Governor Omai is now asking them to pay four million naira. Not be bad belay with that. Hmm? That might not be bad belay. Honestly speaking, me I not know what I want to talk about this one. Because they gathered in Ibadan, they gathered in Ondo, they gathered in Edo, Benue, Taraba, Nasarawa, and Delta State, all in peace without being, you know, chased or any wahala. But what happened in Ibuin State is really very shocking. Well, Nigerians have reacted. Let's hear them. Police and INEC Nigeria should know that the tempo is very high and the country is fully charged now and should therefore maintain naturality to avoid plugging this country to what we consume all of us. They should resist being used by politicians against the masses because they will suffer it more. This is unacceptable. Nigerian police should be careful not to dance the tone of old, outdated politicians. Mr. Peter Obi movement is divine mandate from God to rescue Nigeria. If the governor's hand is on this barbaric act, the thunder of God without mercy will visit him wherever he is now and consume him. Nigerian youths are radical for obedience. No amount of intimidation can quench the obedient movement. The evil APC party can continue killing the Nigerian youth with their police and soldiers, but they can never deny us our choices. Umai is always a failure and he will end up in shame and disappointment. Shall be his last bus stop. All those intimidation is to prove his faith in APC bloody party saboteur wow so guys these are some reactions to nigerians kindly share your thoughts below the comment section thank you very much for this having you here bye for now